Hawking radiation is a process in which a black hole decays in energy, or more precisely, mass. It doesn't have to be all complicated or quantumcated. Instead, it can be answered easily in terms of an analogy of borrowing money from a dealer. One of the fundamental concepts of, of Hawking radiation is pair production. It is essentially creating particles out of thin air. In this case, it will be virtual particles, as it is not what we would call real. The creation of a virtual pair is like borrowing money from a dealer. When you borrow money from a dealer, you suddenly gain, say, a trillion dollars from nothing. However, this debt has been repaid, and the dealer wants it in a very short amount of time. For example, in an hour, since the amount you borrowed is extremely high. When put into context, a virtual pair is like, much like me. And who's the dealer? The dealer is a universe. Or more precisely, the energy of a vacuum. And yes, vacuum does process energy. So essentially, a ray of light in space which is a form of energy, can be converted into a particle by borrowing energy from the universe. Much like how we converted a debt into a lot of dollar bills through a dealer. And the two particles that is created through this process are called electron and positron. Where the positron is the direct opposite of an electron. Meaning if they interact, they will annihilate each other. Much like how minus 1 plus 1 would become 0, except that when these particles annihilate, they release energy in the form of light. And as light is a form of energy, they annihilating each other will repay its energy debt to the universe, basically me repaying my truly in dollar debt to the dealer. So how can pair production, well, destroy a black hole? It can do so if a ray of light decides to split into positron and electron near a black hole. If either the positron or electron gets sucked into the black hole, and the other particle remains outside the black hole, then they cannot annihilate each other and return the energy depth to the universe, as one of them is stuck in a black hole. Put into the analogy, the trillion dollar I borrowed has been stolen and I have no way of repaying. However, since my dealer is an impatient person, he prefers the fastest way of taking the money back. Therefore, instead of waiting for me to earn enough money, money to repay him, which would take forever, he actively seeks the individual who have this sum of money and steals it from him. Puts into context, the universe is a dealer. Instead of waiting for the electron and positron pair to annihilate each other, which would take forever since one of them is stuck in a black hole. It seeks out the nearest individual around the area where the pair production happened that has a sum of energy in need to fulfill the energy debt. Therefore, since the pair production happened around the black hole, and the black hole has enough energy to fulfill the energy debt, the universe takes energy from the black hole to fulfill the debt in the form of the black hole's mass which is another form of energy.